Hey y'all, it's your girl Courtney Elise. Welcome to my channel, My Hood and Entrepreneurship. And today we are continuing our celebration on the Black History Month, y'all. We have been celebrating all kinds of monuments and legends and all kinds of black organizations that have really built the culture, built the nation, and even built the world, okay? So today we are honoring HBCUs. I went to two HBCUs, two monumental HBCUs. One was Clark Atlanta University and the other was Tennessee State University. Both of these HBCUs had a huge impact on my life. Today we will be discussing Clark Atlanta University and their mottos. That of course, Clark Atlanta University um, was merged in 1988. Clark College and Atlanta University. Therefore, they do have two models. They have one that is I'll find a way or make one, one that is culture for service. So we're gonna be discussing those two and how it made an impact on my life and how it can help you in business, your life, and your job as a mother and as a woman. So the very first quote that we're gonna be discussing from them, which is one out of two of their models, is culture for service. So to me, that meant an array of things. First and foremost, culture before we even get to the second part of that first model is starting off with culture and culture is so important first of all i don't put culture before christianity so i put christianity before culture but i do view culture as very important and there is a reason for that i want to know where i come from so that i can move forward and i want to help the people who are less fortunate to be able to move forward the people who don't grow up in great environments or even the people who do grow up in great environments but still have some of the same issues that i do i have the ability to use my being who I am and who I was made to be to bring a group of people up and if I can do that with all of my being I will and your culture is not just being, being black your culture is your community your culture is where you're from your culture is the people who you interact with but part of my culture is being a part of the black community so the second part of that is for service so we use our culture for service. We don't use it to down other people. We don't use it to step on other people. We don't use it to knock other people down. We use it for service. We help our community. We help our brothers and sisters. We help to bring people up. We help to encourage and uplift and inspire, to mediate. We help use our culture to show love to our community. So that is what that quote meant to me. And I hope that you can start using your culture to help you to be more of service to your community. Who is your culture? Gonna let me know that in the comments below. Meanwhile, the second quote is the one that completely changed my being for forever. And it said, I'll find a way or make one. When I started at Clark Atlanta University, I was 17 years old for less than a month, but I love saying I was 17 years old when I went there. The reason I love saying it is because I wasn't yet an adult, I was living as an adult, but I wasn't yet an adult. Even when I turned 18, I was not an adult, but coming into this college that was destined and determined to make sure that I knew that I had an opportunity despite whatever I had been through prior to, Oh, you have no idea what that did for me with all of the things that I experienced growing up. So for me, what that meant is that if I didn't know how to do something, there was always a way to be able to do that. And I feel as though so many people in our culture, in the black community, in the pervert community, even if you're not black, you know, in the minority community, our brown brothers and sisters, our Asian brothers and sisters, at the end of the day, a lot of us experience the same things. And sometimes we get so trapped in where we've been so trapped in where we are that we don't realize that there's another way to be made. But this, this quote right here that they instill in their students and in their professors and even in their community teaches people that not only is there a way, but if you don't know the way, you can make the way. You have that ability to be able to make a way, whether that's your career, whether that's for your family or for your marriage, whether that's for your relationship with Christ, you might feel like you are stuck and you are at a raise with God right now, but you can find a way to get close to him. You can make a way to get close to him. You can make a way for your marriage to work. You can make a way for your children to be upstanding. You can make a way to get to that career that you were looking for. You can make a way for your business to be making six figures and eight figures and nine figures. You can make a way. Rihanna was from Barbados. She didn't have the most. Now she is super super wealthy and guess what 
doing what she loves and how she loves to do it, okay? Same thing with Beyonce, same thing with Jay-Z. You know, some of them had more than others, but at the end of the day, what all three of them had in common is they found a way. And when there wasn't a way, they made a way. So if you can't find a way to get to where you're wanting to, you're looking here, you're looking there, you're trying this, you're trying that. What did Tyler Perry say? Create your own table make your own way so y'all that is my video that is my conversation for this day of black history month let me know in the comments today how you'll be making a way or how you'll be finding a way and how you'll be using your culture for your service and i can't wait to hear what y'all have to talk about down in those comments below and give me some ideas what are some things that we can do as a channel to use our culture for service i can't wait to see y'all in the next video tomorrow see you in the next one Ciao.